What's up, baby? Hey, man, we we came up short tonight. You know, I I don't know what happened, to be honest. You know, I my timing was off, and I didn't throw my punches. I, I didn't let my hands go like I supposed to. Sometimes you get like that, you know what I mean? But, you know, you live to see another fight. You live to see another moment. That's all that's matter. Still full of happiness. I'm still full of joy. I'm still full of smiles. It's all right if I let anyone down. You know, but we'll be back, though. That's the good thing about it, you know. And, uh, man, I can't wait to get on this PJ to go back to my babies. I'm going to see her. Today is one of my, my daughter's birthday. Daddy love you so much, baby. I'll be home soon, though. But I thank you so much for the love and support that I've got in Riyadh and all my families, all my my fans around the world. I thank you. I appreciate you so much. This is not the end. And we'll be back. Love, peace, God bless. Uh, and those are the first words of Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder as he apologizes to his fans for coming up short, for being upset by Joseph Parker. You know, um, I must say this as of right now, is um, a pretty decent response from Deontay Wilder. You know, a lot of people was were surprised. I was surprised, you know, and a lot of people were upset. I seen a lot of people drop off the live stream yesterday. I think, you know, everybody for showing up who showed up. Uh, I think Wilder, uh, what would be best for him at this point is that any conspiracies, any type of excuses you know, that can't be proved or that's out of the norm or unreasonable or any of that stuff. I think he should eradicate it just like Errol Spence did. If you guys can remember, Errol Spence was beaten badly by Terrence Crawford and it was very one-sided. Um, probably more one-sided than Wilder and Parker, but Parker did beat Wilder, you know? And <clears throat> the comparison is reasonable, I feel, between the two fights, right? And the four fighters. And I think that Errol Spence did exactly what he's supposed to do since he didn't want to go out like, oh man, this is that. You know, they pretty much said the same thing. The timing was off, the inact inactivity. You know, I think a lot of that played a reasonable, realistic part in him getting beat. You know, that's why I pled with him and I've been telling everybody all year that Wilder needs to fight somebody. You know, you can stay in the gym all day long. You're going to, you, all you're going to do in the gym is become overtrained. And he looked like he was overtrained to me, but that's just my opinion. However, you know, all the other excuses, all the other things that people may create, don't become a fan of it or try to jump on the bandwagon with it just because it makes you feel better because the guys that support you are believing this stuff. Okay. That's what he shouldn't do. And if he does that, and if he sticks to this same narrative or this same energy frequency, he should be fine. If he wants to come back, I think he should come back smaller. I think he should come back with a lesser opponent. I think he should fight more. I think he should maybe go the Joshua route, you know, get two or three fights and then step up. Then you'll know you're ready. Then you'll know you'll knock the rust off instead of just jumping in cold like he did against uh, Joseph Parker. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder's first words since his upset loss to Joseph Parker. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.